Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1985 it was absolutely fantastic. And so I'm assuming, well, I think this did come out afterwards and stationery in all the magazines, it looked absolutely phenomenal. But it looked like it was a one-on-one -on -one sword fighting game. Look at that on the right, mind you, that's really nice graphics. So we were thinking something along the lines of where the exploding fist. I don't know how good the magazines were, like review-wise of it. Um, I don't think they were too bad, hence the fact that I wouldn't have bought it. Although I did buy it in a second-hand store, like an antique store, in Biddyford called Scudder's Emporium. So that would have been like in the um, mid to late 80s. And when I got, well, I got back to our chalet, because that was where we used to holiday, was incredibly disappointed. Yeah, graphically it's very nice, but it's not a one-on-one -on -one fighting game as such. It is, but there's no scope like where the exploding fist, and you actually slowly move from left to right. You know, think a very slow Kung Fu master. Um, there, yeah, the bad guy says, keep coming, but it's not one hit, one kill, and arrows and shit. So I'm guessing it's set, set in Egypt, or I don't know, like gladiator times or stuff like that. Uh, it's 1985, so the reason you can hear background noise is this is all the sound you got. It's the sound that you chapping them, chapping them, <laughs> twatting them with your massive chopper. I'm going to play this on keyboard, uh, no, joystick, because it'll let me play it on joystick. So let's get into it. Right, press a key. Um, for Kempston, zero, start game. So there I am on the left, hold down fire, jump is up, right, and then, no, there we go, right, my health is the red bottom left, his health is the red bottom right, I'm pressing up in fire and I'm swinging, the animation is amazing, right, jump, hey, I actually jump, but the thing is when you jump, it just, it kills you. Right, he's dead. Now, if I press fire and down, jump. That's annoying. He just came back. Fire legs, so I press fire and down. I'm going to the shins. Up high, down low. Up high, jump. Fuck. And then forward, you just got a jabby motion. I don't know if it takes less damage, and I'm dead. I mean, really, Melbourne House? I mean, will you just up your own ass on how good your graphics were at this point because I think the first I've ever got in start moving straight away no nope, backwards and it does nothing the furthest I ever got in under stayed in threatening him is three blokes right he's dead leg it I mean it wouldn't be so bad if they didn't constantly blow pipe shit at you I mean if you again or oh, in the chopper but there seems no way to be able to avoid it. Oh, he could then. I don't know, his sword is like lock on. There is something satisfying though when you twat him like that, but yeah, ultimately. Jump, ready? See, no fair! That works. We're too close! It's that bit when Anakin and Obi-Wan spin the fuck out of their lightsabers and don't actually hit each other. Duck. Balls. I mean, no continues. No actual block button. This, yeah. Seriously, you were getting off on your own hype, weren't you, Melbourne House? The reason I'm showing this, though, is graphically, it's really nice. Duck. And then he gets back up, and I was still pressing duck. Right, it would seem that I've only got strike high, strike low, and poke. And by trying to find out what those moves were, I've just got shot to fuck. And my voice cracked. It's alright, I'll sort that out when I go through puberty. 
Maybe it's easier on keys. Maybe I'll just get a white stick. Does your health come back if you beat them? He doesn't have to worry about the darts. I mean, I'm guessing he's undead or like the Scorpion King or Dwayne Johnson or something. Unfair is what he is, bastard. Uh, one will go. Yep. See, look. I mean, if they made it walk faster and really made it like a Kung Fu Master clone. Right, hold far first and then press up to try. Yeah, make like a Kung Fu Master clone, then. It's just who will fall first. It could have been brilliant. More speed, more moves, and get rid of the fucking darts. Can't pick those up. Don't duck. Yeah. I mean, the bad guys look awesome. <laughs> it is. Is there any real strategy to this? There must be, because I'm sure I've seen walkthroughs for it online. Get up, you bastard. I would argue, while well, lacking moves, the animation or the, the, the graphics, you know, of the guys, their size and stuff. Duck. Ugh, see what I mean? This controls too sluggish. All right, they were barbarian. Right, there we go. There we go. There we. Go. No, duck, duck, duck. Oh, fuck balls. Come on, come on. Right, there we go. Keep moving. It looks like he's trying to do a Michael Jackson dance. If you get stuck holding the button down when you're trying to progress, your health does go up. Right, getting close. Right, going. Right, this is my new tactic. Getting close. I mean, is there a boss? Do it. Do I get to a second level? Or am I just permanently walking through? You know, um, a desert like some form of Greek mytho mythological story, punishment by the gods, if you will. Go on. Get him down, because then it'll be a record. Yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Boom! Give my health back, give my health back. No, it didn't give my health back. Does that give my health back? No. Yes. Kind of. Sort of. Right. Twat. As in, he is. And he's annoying me. Well, all the bad guys are. So, yeah, they're, they're ultimately, is there any way to get to the end? I, oh, fuck. Well, there you go. Fighting Warrior on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum by Melbourne House in 1985. It looks shiny and fantastic. It's just control-wise and, I guess, design-wise, it's broken. But I just wanted to show it to you. To show, show you, you know, not, not everything by Melbourne House, you know, turns to a slice of fried gold. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you later.